there's a bit of a line they're all the way down the building there we got people walking from quite a ways away what's going on everybody resale rabbit here so we are in the middle of our warehouse sale i'm getting gas and then i'm gonna go buy out office deep office max the last one was office depot and i always call it office max this one is office max and i always call it office depot i don't know why so anyways this store i'll give you a quick rundown this store is going out of business today is their last day it is 9 26 a.m when i show up that's when they close the store I really don't think there's going to be a lot left. They, two weeks ago, when they called me, they had $250,000 in retail value remaining in the store. The last Office Depot I bought had $200,000 at the very end. So I don't think there's going to be much. A few days ago, he said they were down to 60000 So there's not going to be a lot. That's why I have the trailer. We'll probably get it all in there. Um, so my agreement is I'm getting it at 3% of retail. So a hundred dollar item will be three bucks. A $50 item will be a buck 50. And, uh, we're going to clear them out. When I show up, I, they close the store. That's when they start kicking people out. They shut down the store. My contract is I have to buy everything broken, missing parts, open package, display model. I have to buy it all, but I get it at that great, great rate. So we're going to get over there. I got to gas up. We're going to get over there and we're going to see what's left. All right, we're almost there. I didn't bring any employees this time because there's so little here, but um, it's right in there. Uh, it's me and my other half are doing this one. So these are gonna be like 50 bucks each online. The store is pretty empty though. There's not a lot left. some pens some of these will be decent looks like they have some water leaks batteries there's not a lot here so they give me the table and everything on it for free some nice staplers and look at this impulse sealer i'm surprised it didn't sell at 100 bucks so there's a ton of these calendars they're next year's calendars i'm getting like 15 20 25 bucks each for them on amazon after fees so they're giving me everything on this u-boat paper goods, cleaning supplies, things like that. Uh, also, whatever I want on this U-boat, cleaning supplies and whatnot. And here's the big one, all these buckets of paint stripper. These are not cheap, they're just giving them to me. Well, trailer's full. Gonna take one more look around, make sure we didn't miss anything, but we should be good to go. Boy, is it hot. I'm going to the other warehouse to drop off the trailer. I'm just gonna leave it all in there until next week. Uh, trailer's being stored indoors now. If you don't follow the channel, it was stolen and then recovered by police over the past couple of weeks. But I'm going to just leave the trailer in there because I've got a warehouse sale to finish up. Check out that video and uh, in a, you'll see me in a couple days for me. It'll be a couple seconds for you and you'll see what I got. All right, we're all safely nested away and we'll go through this next week. So it's been about three weeks since I bought out this store. It's this cart, that bin, and these two shelves. Let's go through it. Starting with this box, we've got a bunch of planners. However, they're for next year, which is awesome. Usually I get old planners. I'm sure there are gonna be some 2020s in here as well, but all of these 2021 planners should do decent online. So these two on top, uh, not a lot of sales history. These what four these four planners between 12 and 17 bucks after shipping and fees and they should sell pretty fast um, if we average that out at 15 that's 60 bucks right here and by the way i paid a little over 1200 for the whole store 
everything that was left. And I mean, there's still more planners in here. The planners alone might pay for the thing. So I've gone through the first box. These are all the at a glance planners. These are the Office Depot brand planners. Got a bunch of phone cases here. Uh, this is for new iPhone 5.8. I hate when they do that. When they don't actually say the number. Samsung Galaxy S10 Plus. Uh, iPhone 6S Plus, 7 Plus, 8 Plus. So these are just going to go in the warehouse sale. Uh, Galaxy S10. And then we had a couple of these lightweight binders we'll put in the warehouse sale. And I found one 2020 calendar. Uh, figured maybe we'll try it in the warehouse sale, but I'm not going to hold my breath. Um, by the way, I paid 3% of retail. So for instance, uh, let's find a number that's easy to do. 30 bucks here. So this one was, retails 30 bucks. And I'm probably getting about 15 after shipping and fees and everything. My cost, well, 1% was 30 cents. And I paid 3%. So I paid 90 cents for that. Um, that's the thing about store buys. I mentioned this in just about every video. You get some great margins, but you have to buy everything. For instance, this 2020 calendar that's probably going to end up in the trash because I doubt anyone's going to want it. Our warehouse sale is going to be like late October. Uh, 19, so that's about 60 cents I paid for it. So you have to buy the junk too. These, uh, I don't know what I paid. There's no price tag on them. So here we've got some stamps and some labels. We'll look these up. Some of these might go for some decent money. Um, some might not. Phone battery. Here's a stamp received and you're gonna put the date on it. And then this one, these, uh, I guess, brand name ones are probably gonna be better than say these Office Depot brand ones. But nonetheless, it looks like there's some stuff on the bottom. So I'm gonna look these up and uh, we'll see what we got. So this is the warehouse sale box for Dollar Day. I don't care what store it is, I always get these. I get these out of just about every Shopco, the other Office Depot, this Office Depot. For all I know, I probably got some of these out of Toys R Us. Uh, but anyway, some odds and ends there, some cordless phone batteries. Uh, a couple of stamps here that I know are worth some money. I stopped looking them up and just started boxing them up here. Tim can look them up as he lists them on eBay. And if they're not worth going on eBay, we'll put them in a warehouse sale box. There's also, this is off-brand calculator ribbons, but it's long, or it's a whole bunch of them. I've also got this ink cartridge. Doubt it's worth anything, but you never know. But look at that, I had to pay 3% of $27.99, so... I don't know if I'm gonna make anything on that. And then some off-brand ink. The off-brand ink I am setting aside. I've got a whole bunch of off-brand toner as well. So I don't know what I'm gonna do with that, but I'll have a lot of it. So I used to get these a lot in Staples loads. Uh, they should do all right on eBay. Um, <clears throat> look at that price though. I'm not gonna get anywhere near that. I'll probably end up getting about 25 bucks for each of these. Um, it's 100 name badges with clips. Here's a hundred name badges without the clips or with different clips. Here you can see that type of clip compared to that type. Uh, should do all right on them. I used to do really, I used to get these all the time on Staples loads. So um, I, mean, I was excited about these and there's a lot more than this. And then we've got, what are these? I think these are for like, the Apple AirPods. Yeah, silicone cover for AirPods 1 and 2. Probably not going to get much, but these were probably like a buck in the store. We'll uh, throw those all in the warehouse sale. We'll get these listed. Next box, we found more off-brand ink, as well as more brand name ink. There was one that I think we'll do really well. This one I think is a current, like modern one. The other ones might be older. Uh, then a bunch of this type of stuff, little ribbons for calculators and whatnot. More of the stamps. Um, that's pretty much it. Um, oh, and more phone stuff. Might be about five or six more of these batteries. A few more of these other things. All right, let's grab the next box here. It's heavy. Oh, I'll have to look these up, but I bet these are decent. 
We got a bunch of Dymo stuff. And I think that's folders. What are these? CDs. So let's look a couple of these things up. So these are all selling pretty fast. I should walk away after shipping fees with about five to 10 bucks each. Uh, the Dymo ones up there, probably about the same, about five bucks each, but they're not looking like fast sellers. Uh, nothing here. We're gonna put this in the sale, as well as this. I just wanna show you this. Shark pencil grips. So that's going on the sale. And then the rest of this is like report covers. And what are these? More report covers. And then some linen folders. Uh, reinforced linen. Uh, stuff that's going to do well in the warehouse sale. Probably not so well online. But uh, it's okay. Because I'll probably get two to four bucks each in the sale. It's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 9, 10, 11, 13, 12. There are 13 of them. I elasticed to that. Uh, 13 of those. Say another 17 of these. Uh, that's 40 bucks at a dollar each. 80 at two bucks each. So I'll do all right with those. Next box. What do we got? Looks like more of this type of stuff. Lighters. I didn't realize they sold those at Office Depot. A little um, business card holder. Looks like the rest of it's just the folders and stuff. I'm gonna look these impact things up. You never know, they might have some value. So these impact covers are actually decent. I'm getting like five to 10 bucks each online. The Office Depot ones, not so much. We'll put these in the sale, probably get like a buck each. Um, and then I added some more stuff into here. And these as well, CD, DVD sleeves. Next box, uh, printer paper. Sometimes these are decent, let me look this up. So far all of these, they're about 10, 15 bucks after shipping and fees. Uh, this one looks like a decent one, but not really any different. We've got a whole bunch more that I haven't looked up. Uh, this stuff, eh, you never know. Maybe I can make myself a college degree. All right, so here's where we're at with paper. All of these certificates, yeah, four, five, ten bucks, somewhere in that range after shipping and fees. These papers, I don't know why these are stacked separate. Um, all ten, fifteen bucks, some maybe five. And these ones, this one's fourteen ninety nine free shipping. It's open, so we're probably gonna have to go a little bit less. It's just not gonna once you ship it, be worth much. So that'll go in the warehouse sale. Uh, couldn't find any actives or solds on there. And then these certificates were nothing as well. And then the Office Depot paper, nothing. Part of me is kind of tempted. There are two listings for this, if you look up that UPC. Uh, like 71 and 35, but no solds. And we'll just put it in the sale. And at the bottom, we've got a little open sign. Uh, some ink, like pen refills, and... Uh, monitor cable, I think. DVI, that's a monitor, right? Let's just pretend it is. Next box, we've got more certificates. Five, six bucks after shipping and fees. And a bunch of cords. I'm not even gonna look these up. Uh, just gonna put them right in the warehouse sale. Usually, these aren't really worth much, but they'll sell. All right, went through the next couple of boxes. This universal laptop charger is selling on eBay for about 22. Uh, these thermal rolls, they're listed, none sold on eBay, and unfortunately they don't fit my receipt printer, so they're going in the warehouse sale. These, probably not going to sell in the warehouse sale, but they're not really going for anything online. Um, they, it looks like they're to connect tabletops. Uh, in here we've got the worst type of dinosaur ever, the thesaurus. Uh, we've got some Duracell chargers for the older iPods. Those will go in the sale, that type of stuff usually does... 14.86. Wow. These usually sell around two bucks in the sale. And oh dear, we've got some headphones. Uh, what else? Another one of these. Same as. Oh no, it is. It's different. Seven four five four one. So I have to look this one up. Um, this. I don't know how it's different. Oh, this one. They're bigger. Six per sheet. Eight per sheet. So I'll look that one up uh, and get back to you. Oh, uh, we've got, what is this? A sign holder, some light bulbs. This is all warehouse sale type stuff. 
Uh, this is just going to break if we try and ship it. I'm not going to mess around with it. I did look these up, not really selling for anything online. And then lunch notes uh, for lunch bags. And then this box, we've got a whole bunch of these I'm going to look up in a minute. Uh, but basically the same thing, more of the name badges. All right, so I'm going off of memory, so I'm going to try and remember what all these are going for. This is the one that I just showed you. 20 bucks after fees, after shipping and fees. 86.69 retail. These, I believe, were 14 after shipping and fees. This one, I think, was also maybe 20. Uh, the lanyard ones, I think, were about 20. These, I think, were like five or six. I think these are the same ones that I looked at a little bit ago. I think these were, oh boy, 10. Yeah, I think these were 10. Uh, this one, about 15, maybe 10, something like that. Uh, these, now these are selling cheap. They're selling for $12.95, but these are going for, these will go first class. They'll be very cheap to ship. So I've got, what, three of them? So we'll list those. And then this one, nothing. So this will go in the warehouse sale. All right, last four boxes on this cart. Uh, we've got some 2020 planners there. More 2021s. Those are good. Whatever this is, it was 119 bucks originally. We'll look that up in a minute. Uh, some quick claim deed. I don't even know what that means. Uh, but these are like legal forms, claim of lien, residential lease with option to buy, warranty, deed. Sometimes these can be decent. Sometimes they're not. I actually had some file for divorce ones in the warehouse sale. I told Tim I was going to hide it in his car so his wife can find it. Um, packing lists for shipping. Are these? What, what is that? Looks like DVDs. File for divorce. So looks like they're on CD so you can print them. $42.99 retail. Random guess. I'm thinking I'll get about 10 bucks or so for it, but we'll look it up. Looks like some more off-brand ink down here. Uh, 12 column ledgers, note cards. This is a brand name ink cartridge. This will sell. Oh, oh, you couldn't even see it slowly sliding off. Um, so that's pretty much it for this one. I don't know if these are all the same. Yeah, these are all different. Um, so we'll look those up. What do we have here? More pen refills, some glasses. Looks like this is mostly pen refills and glasses. I'll dig through it and let you know if I find anything. Um, so what is this? Let's look it up. Or let's look at it, I should say. Um, oh, it's a bell. Interesting. So like a lunch bell or a bell that you'd see in a school. Uh, let's see. You can, tell, you can tell they didn't have it. Eight bucks is what it was clearance at. Well, on their final day, 90% uh, off. And when I mentioned when I went in there, a buddy of mine who's a reseller, an eBay seller was in there. I don't know why he didn't buy some of this stuff. Obviously it was 90% off. A lot of people um, don't seem to see the value in me getting it 97% off when it was 90% off to the public, but it's a big difference. Uh, for instance, this, and I don't see the math here. How how is ninety percent off eight bucks? Wouldn't it be eleven dollars and ninety nine cents? Who did that math? I know I didn't. Uh, but anyways, ninety percent off would have been eleven dollars and nineteen cents. Um, whereas ninety seven percent off is from one twenty. That would be a dollar twenty is one percent. So that's three. Three dollars and sixty cents. Big difference. Um, and this, there's one listed. I don't know if that's pre-owned or not, but sixty-eight bucks. Let's see. Sold. One sold for sixty bucks. So yeah, he must have just missed this one. So that's gonna go online. So this is selling for eighteen. So I'll probably walk away with about eight bucks or so after shipping and fees. These, I looked up three of them. Um, create your own employee handbook. Um, I see, I don't get why someone would spend this. $42.99. I created mine for free. It took me like an hour. And then I had my lawyer look it over to make sure it's good. And I would want my lawyer to look this over too, just to be safe. Because this is, this is probably written by a lawyer but I'm custom tailoring it to my own. I want to make sure my verbiage that I put in is, is good. 
And also I want to make sure it's relevant in my state because every state is different. But anyways, these are going for 10 to 15 bucks each on eBay, but not hot sellers. Uh, there are a whole bunch more. I'm just going to have Tim look them up. Uh, what else? Glue. A whole bunch of glue. The Scholastic that's always tough to sell in the warehouse sales, but it'll sell. So this looks more like a bunch of dollar day school supplies, more lighters. I'll probably pull the lighters and put those sooner. But most of the stuff will go out on dollar day and I probably have like three cents into each one. Glasses on the go. All right then. Uh, let's see, what is this? Thicky. Uh, a daily, oh, it's for 2020, bummer. But this is a thick ream of paper, so I'll put it in the sale. Someone might buy that just for the paper. There's probably 500 sheets. Uh, and then these are, oh, more Avery stuff. I'll have to look those up. So what's exciting here is all the 2021 calendars are the at a glance. Those are the easy sells, the ones that um, are doing really well. It's the these Office Depot ones. These are the 2020 calendars. That went in the wrong box. That what's this? Pre-filled 2020. Well, let's see how that works. Awful things. Death and destruction. Vegetables. Year of sadness. Disease. Trying times. Gross. Fire. Aliens, terrible year, you're gonna food, die, an end of the world, and Christmas, and then we're done. January is canceled. That's it. There's no 2021. That is the year. But I mean, this box has got to be a whole bunch. These are... I have not looked at this one, but every time I get blue sky, they don't seem to be worthwhile. I'll have to look them up. Uh, but all of these, there's got to be just here, 15, 20 of them. That's 300 bucks right there. So I went and sorted these. These are all glasses. They're going on the sale. Uh, this one was really neat. They fold down really tiny. Uh, and then that's all the pen refills. All right, got another cart full of stuff. By the way, these bankers boxes are amazing for store closings. Uh, these have gone through so many store closings and they wear out, but um, they're not crazy expensive. They're like two bucks each or so. Um, and, you know, well, I actually didn't pay that. They came on pallets uh, from Staples. But I've been able to go through so many store closings with them and they fold flat. So, you know, if we have a store closing where I'm sending an employee there, in his personal vehicle, his or her personal vehicle, just to box everything up, pay for it all, and then I show up with the trailer later in the day or the next day. They can fit all these in their car. You know, plastic totes or something like that, they're not gonna fit in their car. They could fit a couple hundred of these in their car if I was sending someone. They are definitely nice. So anyways, this box looks like we've got some more ink, and the rest of it is mostly full of receipt rolls. Um, Two ply paper rolls. That is the worst toilet paper ever. I don't recommend it. What is this? A mouse pad? A really big mouse pad that's like a hard plastic? All right. Um, I'll look through them to see if I can even fit my receipt printers. I'm not going to hold my breath, though. Most of them look like they're too narrow, and then some of them are the, uh, the two ply ones where you have a duplicate that doesn't work on thermal printers. Next box, some 2021 calendars. Looks like they're dry erase calendars. Um, these will probably go in the sale. That's not the sale box. That's and No, that's a sale box. This is probably a better one to put them in. I'm trying to sort these as I go. Uh, more off-brand ink. We've got some calendar bases. I'll look those up. And these might still be usable. They're probably through summer. So an academic calendar. More ink, uh, these more dry erase calendars. Um, I'm not gonna sell them online because of the condition, but uh, they'll probably do well in the sale. So we've got a couple of these, literally a couple, there are two of them. Uh, I get about 20 bucks or so on them. And then these is about seven-ish after shipping and fees. Um, I don't know about these. 
These are all the academic ones. It's tough to say how well they'll do. And what is this, poster board? That I know isn't gonna be worth much, but you know, it'll sell in the warehouse sale. 459 retail, so I paid, what's that, like 13 cents? Uh, 13, 14 cents each. They'll definitely go on dollar day, if not sooner. These are all the replacement sheets for the 2020 calendars. Uh, oh, we got some bigger ones here. Probably also 2020. Uh, yeah, so 40 bucks. I paid a dollar and 20 cents for this, and maybe it'll sell on dollar day. So that's the thing. You get some amazing margins on some stuff. Other stuff, it's just not so amazing. But overall, you know, I keep, you know, I haven't stopped doing warehouse sales. I keep doing them, or not warehouse sales. Um, store closings. I keep buying out stores, so obviously I'm making some money on them. Uh, Two-inch prongs. Doubt these will be worth anything. Probably go on the sale. And this box looks very simple, similar. A bunch of these prongs, which I did look up. They're not really anything. Some staples. That's weird. I thought I got this from Office Max, not staples. Um, and then more of these 2020 inserts. They appear to all be 2020. Uh, this is undated, so let's look these up. So, much like me in high school, undated and worthless. So, this will all go in the sale. So this one, I looked these up, nothing, but it might be worth saving these for tax time. Oddly, you need special envelopes, apparently, for your taxes. Maybe my accountant would buy these from me. I don't know. We'll set these aside and make a decision on that. We've got more of this, these legal documents. Sell your used car. Uh, what's this? Just some index cards and some... I might look these up. These are odd binders. $18.99 is retail. So apparently for this little binder, you need six rings. Um, not crazy sellers, but we're going to list them anyways. Two for like 17 bucks. Um, and then I guess we'll maybe have a lot of three or a single or something. Um, that doesn't work out so well. Uh, so we'll get these listed. I'm not going to hold my breath that they'll sell though. So got to the bottom of this one. Business cards. I'm getting almost nothing for them. They'll definitely sell for more in the warehouse sale. I think I might keep this. Um, I doubt it's worth a lot, but things like the job application, the performance evaluation. I could probably use them. I could always photocopy them um, to reuse them. This is four of each form. I don't think there are any issues with that. So I'll keep that. Um, this was like five bucks. That was like 10. Um, and these, believe it or not, I'm getting five bucks for each after shipping and fees. Binding rings. I had a bunch of these in the last warehouse sale and they didn't even sell, but you know, we'll give it another shot. And it looks like we've got the paper. The binding paper. More of these binding rings. What is this? Business card laminating pouches. Not sure why you'd want to laminate your business cards, but I'll look that up. So these are actually selling for like 12 bucks on eBay. And there's only, actually this is the one that I looked up. This is only 25, but we can put four of these together if we have them. Looks like most of them are the 100 count, which is what I looked up. So the 100 count is like 12 bucks on eBay. There's only one person listed, but there are a whole bunch of solds. So we'll definitely list these. Uh, what else? You know, when you go out to eat, if you can't finish your food, they give you like a doggy bag to bring your food home. Well, these are the same concept, but for the bank. So you can bring your food to the bank. Uh, we got more of these tax envelopes as well. Yeah, these are the same. It doesn't say a year on it, so I think it's, I don't think it's the forms. Yeah, additional tax forms available. So this is just the envelopes, so the year is really irrelevant. So I bet my account, now she probably buys these by the case and probably spends like two bucks on this little thing. But maybe she'd be willing to buy these for a dollar each. I've probably got 30 of them, maybe 40. There are quite a few. 
So I've also got a buddy who's an accountant and he's a little smaller scale, so maybe he'll be interested in them. There we go. Health insurance claim forms. I don't know why. I feel like this is something you would get from the insurance company, but uh, we got a bunch of these. I'll look them up in a moment. I doubt they'll be worth anything. Um, funny story on a Staples truckload once, I got something similar that was patient death checklists. So when someone dies, this one's different. Why is this one different? Different quantity, 250, that's uh, 100, and that's why. Uh, so when a patient dies, you would fill out that checklist. Again, not sure why someone would buy those at this office supply store. More of these things. Yeah, definitely going to... I'm just going to stop by my accountant's office for picking up payroll. I'll see if she wants these. So these are gonna be a slow mover, but I should get about seven bucks each or so, assuming they're all the same. That's triple one, triple one. Yeah, they're all the same. So I should be able to get about seven each. Might take a while to sell, but even if I sell one or two, I can't imagine they're gonna go in the warehouse sale. So we'll give them a shot. So this box, we've got some paper shredder bags. I'm not sure how these are any different than regular garbage bags. I'm not sure, but uh, those should sell here. Oh, hold on. One moment. All right. I'll test my vision. Oh, it's not opening. Okay. Can you guys read that line? Oh, that's just worse. Uh, anyways, it's a 2020 planner. So I'll get rid of these. What about these little ones? Also 2020. Apparently it's the cool thing to write it out. Uh, so we'll probably end up tossing these. Uh, we'll see what's under this layer. All right, for rent signs. Uh, I'll probably put these in the sale. We've got, these are only $6.99 retail, so these will probably go in the sale too. And more 2020 planners. So you have to remember, each of these probably retailed. 25 bucks, maybe not the little ones, but so I had to buy all of these. But remember, the good planners are probably gonna pay for the whole store, so I'm okay with that. That's something that a lot of people don't really look at the big picture. They'll say, Oh, these items are great, I'm making a ton of money, but look at all this trash I have to buy too. Not worth it. When they don't really look at the big picture, the good items will pay for the good items and the trash and leave you a nice profit. So it really doesn't matter if there's junk. So anyways, get rid of these. Looks like more thermal paper, or more receipt rolls, I should say. This box could have some value, more name badges, but it's all the Office Depot ones. Here, more of those, more of these prongs, all warehouse sale stuff likely. Uh, these could be good, $40 retail. Wait, what? Type C coaxial cable? They look like the same thing. Maybe they are the same thing. They probably are the same thing. All right, more planners. All right, let's dig through these. So this is interesting, no actives or solds for these. Uh, I even looked them up on Amazon to see, you know, get an idea of pricing and there was a listing. Uh, no, Nobody on the listing though. It's actually ranked pretty well though, and it is 2021, so we'll list it probably for 40 bucks and see what it does. This one, on the other hand, I should get about 15 after shipping and fees. Surprising, this one's only like 10 bucks is what I'll get after shipping and fees. Uh, so what I'm doing is the 2021s here, we're gonna list. The, the ones that are, this is a bad example, the ones that are the academic year, 2020 and 21, I don't think they're gonna sell, so we'll put them in the warehouse sale. They should sell there. And the ones that are just 2020, I'm boxing up. And uh, you know what? Here's what I'm gonna do. Every time I get old uh, planners, the ones that nobody's gonna buy, we have tried to give them away. Nobody wanted them. We've posted them on Facebook Marketplace. We've offered them to people, businesses. Nobody wants them. That's why we always throw them in the recycling bin. But so many people comment on the videos saying you should give those away. People will want them. I would take them. So here is my offer. 
Um, by the time this video is posted, I will still have them. I'm gonna have a decent sized box. If you want them, let me know. Reach out, resalerabbit at gmail.com. Absolutely free. All you have to do is pay shipping. I will give you the size, the weight, dimensions of the box. You send me a shipping label. I will attach the shipping label to the box and it will get shipped right, shipped right to you. Or you can pick them up if you're local. Absolutely free if you want them. If I don't, if I don't have any takers, a week after this video is posted, I'm throwing them in the trash. Recycling bin, but you get, you get the idea. Um, so if you want them, now's your chance. Maybe someone will take them. I don't know. I mean, I'd rather see them used than thrown away, but it's tough to find someone to take them. Um, expect it to be expensive to ship. It's going to be a big, heavy box. You're probably going to end up spending, if you're in the Midwest, 20 bucks. If you're out on the coasts, I don't even think you want to pay for the shipping for that. But anyways, if you want them, I'll weigh the box at the end of this video and tell you how much the weight is. All you have to do is let me know you want them, and I'll give you the actual dimensions and everything, and uh, you can send me a shipping label. So this is all going on the warehouse sale. The prongs, the name badges, I looked them up. They're not selling. They're listed low and no solds. Uh, more name badges, and then this stuff. I would love it. Is this thermal? Bond paper. I don't think this is thermal. I would love it if I could find one that fits my printer. But I don't think this is thermal, so I don't think it will. Uh, fun story. Let's take a walk over here. So this is my receipt printer. Uh, this is the size rolls we need. I ended up finding one here, this whole case on the Staples pallet. Probably saved me a good 50 bucks. But before that, I don't see them here. But I was using, maybe it's in it. No, I was using dress barn rolls. I got a few on a dress barn closure and it actually fit. So when we ran out of rolls, because we misplaced the box, I still have no idea where it is. I had uh, our, all of our customers, the back of it had dress barns return policy and dress barn went out of business nine months ago. So that was amusing. But uh, anyways, I was glad to find those because I have no idea where ours went. I had a box of them. I spent like 36 bucks on them. Um, but I got those, which is a bigger box, and now I don't need to buy more. All right, home stre stretch. We've got these boxes and then the loose or big stuff in the back. Let's see what we've got. More uh, reading glasses. and I hate that these were mixed together. Then I have to go through them. More of these pen refills and reading glasses. The pen refills are actually decent. We've been selling these. I got a whole bunch of them from the other Office Depot, and some of these are selling for like 15 bucks for one. Other ones will do a lot of several, you know, a lot of five for 10 bucks or something like that. But uh, a lot of these pen refills, but there are a lot to go through. And I still have some from the last Office Depot that I found a couple months ago. So I might just bulk sell them. I don't know. Otherwise I could just leave them in the back and Tim can go through them when we don't have stuff for him to do. Maybe I'll do that. I don't know. All right, we got the pen refills and the glass is now separated. And amongst that was more of these certificates. So I'm gonna, look these up probably gonna be like the others where some are worth selling some aren't so this stack is worth selling that stack is not these top two i'm getting like 10 12 bucks each after shipping fees the rest of these like four five six bucks each and then these go in the warehouse sale so we've got some giant numbers i was gonna say letters uh that'll go in the warehouse sale this is a backpack a very weird backpack interesting and a little laptop sleeve so those will probably go in the sale uh, more of these 2020 the office depot business cards uh, 2020 here's some avery though uh, tickets we'll look those up postcards and index cards let me look these up after shipping fees, about 11, six, and this, maybe a dollar or two. I'm just gonna put that in the sale. Another one of these, warehouse sale. Then a bunch of planners, more of these at a glance, 2021s, those should be decent. I stopped looking them up. I'm just setting all the 2021s aside because every single one that I looked up that was at a glance was like 
it's between 10, 12 ish and like 20 bucks. And then all the Office Depot ones probably walk with about five to 10. Um, so I don't even need to look them up anymore. There were none that were worthless for the 2020 ones at least. Now here's one, uh, another academic one, warehouse sale. So the bottom of that box, it's all greeting cards. Let's see, need I say more? That's probably Sean and Gus. Uh, congratulations on your new job. They're not even good greeting cards. Your awesomeness has been confirmed. That was obviously written for me. Together. Anniversary. Because the best place to go for an anniversary card is the office supply store. Uh, you thought wine. Bet you thought wine when I said let's get some glasses. <laughs> uh, mazel tov. Out of sight. So I, don't, I honestly don't know what I'm going to do with these. I might just put them all in a bag. Put them on a $5 day. Let someone take all of those cards for five bucks. We've also got, these are all of the Office Depot, uh, mixed in with other stuff, 2021s. These are all the at a glance. I'm trying to sort them a little bit so it's easier for Tim when he's going through them all. And then these are all the academic ones, which I know will sell in the warehouse sale because you still have, um, let's see. Yeah, you get all of 2021 here, right? It says July through December, yeah. So this will cover all of next year. I just don't think anyone's gonna be searching for that. So I don't think they're gonna sell online. Um, and then there was a few more 2020s down there. Next box. Ooh, more of these. I think that's, um, these are different. Smaller packs. So I'm not gonna go through and look them all up. Uh, oh, there's more stuff underneath. I'm not gonna go through and look these up because there's, I mean, you saw, they're all worth something. Some are six, some are 20, but, uh, and then everything in between. These though might not be worth it, but there's a few of them. We can lot them together if we need to. And on the bottom, we've got a bunch more of these little cases for the AirPods. Uh, what is this? Uh, grommet, this goes, you see these in like desks when there's a hole so you can run cables through it. These are exciting. I remember seeing those. These aren't really anything. They're just wristbands but they do have individual numbers in sequence. But these, if I remember, I was selling for like 30 bucks or so. They're those uh, RFID badges that you use as a key to get in. I thought I had more than two boxes, but maybe not. So these will set aside. Yeah, these will definitely go in the sale. Look up that on eBay. The only sold, there's a bunch of active, but the only sold is, I think it was like 18 boxes of them for four bucks. Um, I'll probably get maybe a dollar or two per box or else we have more chargers. You know, these stupid little things sell really well in the sale. Most don't go until dollar day, but hey, speaking of Sean and Gus, so more glue. All right, we got three on the bottom. Let's clear these off and get those. All right, one has no lid. Ooh. So again, that's all that's in there. You can tell they go all the way down. I'm um, not going to bother looking them up. You know the story on those. Here, these are probably also 2020. Yep. 2020. So, same story as the others. And we got some off brand ink. Uh, is this Avery? That's Avery. Oh, this is the same one. Where did I put that? Um, in one of these. It's going in the sale. Um, and then these probably also 2020. Yes, 2020. And then these are classification folders, I believe. Yep, classification. Oh, they're Pendaflex though. These are brand name. So let's look these up. Nothing. They're like 40 bucks on Amazon, but very poorly ranked and no actives are sold on eBay. So that's those two. What do we have here? These are, I might actually keep these. I feel like I could use these for some of my tax stuff. Uh, basically large envelopes. Two missing from pack. How? It's still sealed. Um, let's see, how many are supposed to be in here? Mm, 10, 10 count. So I count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So I'm counting nine. So it's definitely not 10 missing, but you can see they're packed the same way as these, so. 
I think that was just someone who doesn't know things. Anyways, they're going to sale anyway. Um, there, that's a sale box. You got a whole bunch of them, it looks like. And then report covers. We'll look them up, but I'm not going to hold my breath. And then these are tabs for um, folders. Oh, another one of these. Uh, I don't think I looked this one up. Remember, I had a whole bunch of those in the beginning. All right, and that is this stuff. Now let's take a walk. Ignore the TV. This cart is full of toner. Nothing but toner. Unfortunately, it's all off-brand. There was one brand name HP right here. Highly doubtful it's worth anything, though. Everything else is off-brand, so I don't know what I'm going to do with this. I'm, of course, going to look for anything. I've got one, two, three, four different printers in the building here. So I'm going to look for anything that will fit my printers. Save me a few bucks, but they're not worth selling. So I might just throw them in the warehouse sale. I don't know. Uh, just glancing here, I think I need HP 80 for the one printer here. And then Brother, the other three are all Brothers. And it's not looking very promising. But uh, you never know. That one, also HP. So we also got this. That's a tabletop easel pad. Uh, we have this. It's open though. Uh, but it was 115 bucks. It's a keyboard tray. Then we get this stack of stuff. This, uh, only four, 36 bucks retail. Presentation paper, probably going to go in the sale. That's not going to work. Um, we got a book, math book here. Those did really well in the sale last time. These are all academic year. So July to June. So those might sell. Then we've got a whole bunch of this stuff. This is like classroom educational stuff i hate this stuff because even in the warehouse sale it doesn't really move oh and more of those numbers so we've got a whole bunch of this type of stuff probably sell in the warehouse sale not for much over here oh here's one that tim found for me walmart clearance it's a lifetime folding table but it's got a little hose hookup so you can have a faucet in there 17 bucks he found this for a walmart so uh he sold me one at cost uh, so we've got another calendar here. We've got a trifold display board. It's yellow. Uh, what else? Some Another trifold display board. And then a bunch of dry erase calendars. And then more of the school stuff. Um, the dry erase calendars, they sell, but they're not fun to ship. you got to roll them up and everything. Oh, these are academic anyways. But I find some that are just 2021, maybe. Uh, and that's everything here. And then we've got this box right here. Uh, more school type stuff like borders for bulletin boards and whatnot. So we've got all of that. That's not all. I've got a little bit more to show you at the other warehouse. And then we're going to come back here and I've got more to show you here. Why am I doing it that way? Because I have actual inventory at the other warehouse that came out of Office Depot or Office Max. You know, the last store that I did a year and a half ago was Office Depot, and I kept calling it Office Max for some reason. This store is Office Max, and I keep calling it Office Depot. Anyways, so I've got some inventory over there to show you, and then we're going to move back over here. I'm going to show you the fixtures that I got for free. Oh, one more thing I forgot. It's kind of buried down here. A bunch of little batteries. Um... I kept a bunch of these at a shop co after they closed and still never really used any. I don't know if I'm going to keep them, but I could probably sell them. They're probably good for a while. I don't see an expiration date on them. I don't know if these button batteries expire. These should. There you go. 2019, so maybe not. That means these have been in the store for probably 10 years. That's crazy. So here's some dedication. I have no other reason to go here. Besides showing you these other items. Um, grab the key so we can get in. That's the only reason I'm coming here. And I could have easily just told you that they exist. But instead, I drove to my other warehouse. It's only like two blocks away, but I still drove here. Ring buzzer for entrance. 
There's nobody in there. It's my warehouse. Anyways, I drove all the way over here just to show you this. All right. So, should be right here. I got these two. This is the last bit of inventory. There's some uh, Amazon stuff on top of it. But these two, they're hutches for desks. Right there. Brand new. I don't know what I'll be able to get for them. Retail's probably two to three hundred bucks. Are there any tags on the side? There is. There we go. So let's say five hundred and ten, I think. I have no idea what that's supposed to oh eighty ninety percent off was two oh nine. Uh so two oh nine was retail. So I paid what did I pay? Um, well, that's 90% off. So $2.01 is 1% of retail. No, $2.10. So two, four, six dollars and thirty cents is what I paid. So honestly, six dollars and thirty cents. I'll send them to a local auction. Maybe I get ten bucks a piece for them. It's still profit. So I'm not too upset about that. They are sealed. It's just the hutch though, it's not the desk part, they're both identical. So anyways, that is it for the merchandise. Now let's talk about the fixtures that I got for free. Right here. I got all these for free. They're all full. They are, let's see, hard as nails, floor finish, and no rinse floor stripper. So I got one, two, two things of floor stripper and seven of floor finish. I think they're all the same. I'm not gonna look. But uh, I got these for free. These are probably about 80 bucks each. Uh, it was store use. It was for their own floors. And he said he didn't want us to put it on the sales floor and sell it because of chemicals. I don't get the logic behind that because they probably have other chemicals that they sell. But I got that and this. I don't know if this is full or not. Yeah, this is full. Paint. Uh, interior latex. Um, although maybe they use it, but it's like a gray color. Maybe I can find a use for it. I got those for free. And that's literally all I have to show you here. So let's go back to the main warehouse and I'll show you the other stuff that I got for free. Back at the main warehouse. So here's the other stuff I got for free. I got these three banquet tables for free. I'll definitely keep this one. It's a six footer, probably cost, I don't know, 50 bucks to buy it. Uh, these two wooden ones though, I don't like these type of tables. So I'll probably just sell them, I don't know, 10, 15 bucks each. This is a nice one, this impulse sealer. Got that for free. They were asking a hundred bucks. I actually spent like 150 bucks on one of these at Toys R Us when they closed and it ended up, ended up being junk. So hopefully this one's better. Otherwise I'll sell that as well. What else? Oh, here we go. These tubs, the black ones and the clear ones. So they had a roof leak. I think I showed that in the video. So they had all these just filling up with rust water from the roof. Uh, they just, they were gonna throw them away. So I said, hey, can I have them? And they gave them to me. They all have lids. Okay, maybe they don't all have lids. I guess I don't have enough lids. The lids are brand new. I think they pulled these right off the shelf to use them for um, the rainwater. But I'm gonna try and clean them out. If not, I could probably still get 20, 25 bucks for all of them. Uh, over here, so more fixtures, more stuff. Garbage bags, free. Mop heads, free. Toilet paper, right? Oh, it's, is it some toilet paper, some multi-fold towel? Free. Uh, we got this, whatever this Xerox paper is, free. These, I think this was in their print departments for framing, free. This was a good one. Black stretch wrap. This cost me like, what, 50, no, 60 bucks for this. I pay 60 bucks plus shipping, nearly a hundred bucks, free. We got some commercial cleaning products, free. Box of random stuff. I don't even know what this is. Floor cleaner. Oh, these are like Tide Pods, but you throw them in the mop bucket. I like those. Free. Some of it I might sell, some of it I might keep. Down here, all of this is roll towel, multi-fold towel, toilet paper. Uh, oh, this is just another one of these toner things. It's the waste toner box, not worth much. What do we have here? Uh, for the dust mop and then some regular mop heads and the price tag things all of this free that too it just fell over there 
Oh, uh, I already showed this one. All right, and then this bin, just random stuff. This is all the stuff that was on the uh, the brown table, so I took it so they don't need to haul it out. DVD player, probably just gonna donate that to Goodwill. Some acrylic, some hanging file folders. We got a nice heat gun for free. Um, I don't know what that is. Some sort of stapler. Then we want a big stapler for free. What else? We have light bulbs. For some reason, VHS tapes. Those will just go to Goodwill. But uh, what's on the bottom here? Some envelopes. I'll probably use those. All of this stuff was free. They had a bunch of these in the back, but they would not give them to me. They said they're not allowed to. I don't think, he told me, I told him I got a lot of these out of the other Office Depot, and they said if it has merchandise in it, I can have them. He said, yeah, they weren't supposed to do that. And that's exactly why I use these on a lot of store closings. That's why I did not use these on this one, because it actually says Office Depot on them. I didn't want them to confiscate them from me. So um, I was hoping to get more of these. Unfortunately, I didn't. I did get the 60 of them, 60, 65 of them out of the other store. But anyways, that is Office Depot. Correction, that is Office Max. I keep doing that. I think that's everything. I don't think I'm missing anything. So anyways, that is today's video. Now, about a year and a half ago, May of 2019, I bought out that other Office Depot. I spent like 10 grand. I've never seen a store that full after they closed. And um, I filmed it, but I never posted the video. And the reason is because, well, some of the clips were missing. I don't know what happened if I lost them on my phone or what. Uh, some of them, there were, I was so busy. I just didn't have time to film that much. So you didn't get to see that much. And then there was so much stuff to go through. I didn't film a lot of that. So I never wanted to really post the video. My plan was to put those clips at the end of this video, but this video is so long as it is. So this could be the next video, I promise. After this video, you're gonna see the Office Depot video from last year. So anyways, that was Office Max. I spent about 1200 bucks. I got it at 3% of retail, so you do the math. Uh, one per so divide 12, 1200 by three is 400. That would be 1%, so about 40,000, I think. I'm doing the math right, 40,000 in retail. Not a lot, didn't expect it to be a lot, but decent stuff and you know, I'll probably end up making three, $4,000 on it. Um, a lot of those planners are so good. So that is this video, hope you guys enjoyed it and we'll see you in the next one.